What's up YouTube, it's Albert with Albert Thoughts. Another year, another unboxing, and this time it's the iPhone 15 Pro. This year we opted for a natural titanium model, so it's the raw form of what it's supposed to look like, and it's actually a very exciting color. And you never know, they might release another color mid-cycle so that they can increase sales. What's different this year is obviously the USB-C cable, and what's really cool is there's actually a serial number on each USB-C cable, probably because they want to make sure you're using the right cable to charge your iPhone. Inside, there's also documentation with a piece of paper that says you no longer need a physical SIM card, which would be super helpful for people upgrading from the iPhone 13 or below. Here's the iPhone. It's a very beautiful color. I would say it's almost like a taupe color. It has that beautiful titanium finish on the side, which is actually a fingerprint magnet. So that hasn't changed since last year. I opted for the Pro model this year versus the Pro Max because I wanted a smaller form factor. I felt that the Pro Max model has been always too big for my palms and I wasn't able to reach certain parts of the screen. Here you can see a comparison to the iPhone 15. I also have an iPhone 15 unboxing video in blue, so definitely check that out in the link down below. The differences between these phones lie in not just the color, but also the material used on the side bezel. But other than that, the physical look is essentially the same. iPhone 15 still has the older switch to silent rocker and the camera is still slightly smaller given there's only two versus three cameras and other than that it's essentially the same and of course the biggest news this year is the switch to USB-C and as you can see the USB-C plug on the bottom has a metal ring around it unlike the iPad or MacBook. There's also the new button switch so you can actually configure it to whatever you like and finally the cameras are slightly different. Here's also a comparison of the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which I found super heavy and too big for my palms, so I decided to opt into a smaller size. The camera seems to be similar in size. I know that the iPhone 14 became slightly bigger compared to the 13. The iPhone 15 Pro Max, however, has a new camera that allows you to zoom up to five times, which isn't on the regular iPhone 15 Pro. Again, the side is slightly matte in terms of the finishing because of that titanium. I would say everything else is similar in spec. Everything is sort of like a minor upgrade this year. And a lot of people have been talking about the bezels being slimmer on the iPhone 15, but I found that they're actually pretty similar with the exception that there's a slightly curved glass on the iPhone 15. So it gives you that illusion of having a slimmer bezel. Finally, we're doing a comparison of the weight, the iPhone 14 Pro Max being 8.8 .8 ounce and 10 ounce with a case. The iPhone 15 at 6 ounce and the iPhone 15 Pro at 6.7 ounce. Thank you again for watching this short and quick unboxing video. I'm going to do a lot of comparison videos in the future, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. See you guys later.